Warning. Mercury is a highly toxic compound. Do not attempt this experiment unless you are trained in handling this type of toxic compound. So looking around YouTube, I find several great videos showing the reaction of potassium iodide and mercury chloride to form a precipitate of mercury 2 iodide. This is a really popular reaction because it starts with two clear solutions and ends with a bright orange solution. However, I did not find any videos showing the thermochromism properties of the compound, and so I thought I would make one. To start, we add a very small amount of mercury iodide in a test tube. Then we apply heat. We do not need a lot of heat, only about 126 degrees for it to change. Okay, so now we have a small change. So let's add some more heat and get a more noticeable change. There we go. After an hour or so, it, it will convert back to its original color. You can find out more about the thermochromism effect by googling it. Uh, the short version is that the heat changes the crystallic structure, thus changing the wavelengths of light reflecting off of it. And you can play with it a little bit more. And now an interesting side note about mercury iodide. Today we all know mercury iodide, or any mercury compound, is very toxic. However, in the 20s and 30s, whether they knew this or not, many home experimenters books used it in their experiments. This book was written in 1934 by Popular Science. In it, there is a section on how to use mercury iodide to make a paint, and gives one idea of how to use the paint on cards, and how to use a magnifying glass to heat it up. To change it back quickly, you would just use your finger and rub it off, uh, or rub a small layer off. Um, in this book, there's not a single word of caution anywhere to be found. Uh, as dangerous as this sounds, I personally feel the pendulum has today swung to the other side, where the fear of chemicals is taking on a life of its own. You would never find a home experimenter's book today written that would touch any of the experiments in this book. However, this will be a subject of another video. Thanks for watching, and please rate and comment.